Kia ora, welcome to this week's video newsletter. And as you can see, I've got my friend Martin Vaughan here retiring this year. First came to Wellington College as a staff member in 1983. Yeah, which was even before I was a student here, to be honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you had a brief stint at St. Pat's though during that time. I did, yeah, two yeah, years. Two. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, Martin, we've had a huge week. We've had the Prime Minister here open the hall mm -hmm. on, on um, Monday morning. It was an amazing event, wasn't oh, it? It was lovely. Yeah. Really, really good. What stood out for you about that event? Oh, it, uh, it was a natural um, thing with our Prime Minister there and uh, nothing really political. Very <laughs> much she spoke to the Wellington College public yeah. and we were able to showcase our best side to her as well. Yeah. And everyone was really um, sparky. It was really... And the student really who sees Harry and Clement, they, oh, they were excellent. amazing they were job. Yeah. Yes. It was yeah. really inclusive. It was yeah, really very warm event. And similarly, in the evening for the prize giving, um, we celebrated some amazing achievements of Year 13 oh, and, and other year groups um, completely. Yeah. yeah. And I also got a... And there was some spontaneous haka. That, that sort of commitment to Ollie, that sort of um, honouring of Ollie as mm. head boy was quite memorable, wasn't very it? Very touching, yes. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And also at that event, I got to farewell staff, including you, um, people that have been here for a long time. Um, and I wanted to get you on today just to reflect a little bit on, you know, how do we summarise all those years? Mm -hmm. But what have been some, what are you going to look back on so fondly about being on the Wellington College staff? Well, over the length of years, there's quite a few that you've taught. Yeah. Been associated with. Thousands. It's quite, yes, yes. And just the other night, there was Dan Chapman and his dad, Kim. Cameron, yeah, yeah. and um, we took a photo. It was two generations. I taught them both. Lovely. But uh, and so that that adds weight yeah. to the relationships. But there's a lot of staff members that um, over the years you know that you do things now unconsciously a certain way through seeing what they do. Friendships through that. Yeah. But also the school's grown from you know about eleven hundred to its current size, Almost and the buildings are quite different. Yeah. So. Marking all those things, the progress made in that respect is pretty good too. Yeah, I remember 1986 um, when I was in third form and you had a really serious bike accident. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and yes. the whole community pulled together. They did, yes. I, um, I was on my way to a champagne breakfast <laughs> <laughs> and I got cleaned out from behind. So um, On a push bike. On a push bike, yes. Yeah. We had the class of 1988 here, and um, some of those students remembered going to visit you in hospital. What are your memories of that? Yeah, well, I was, um, each day, I was in hospital for two and a half weeks before they let me home, and each day, someone from the school always came up students, after school. Yeah. yeah, and particularly from that year 11 From class. that year 11 class, yes. Yeah. It was uh, with lollies sometimes, and yeah. just to see how things are. Yeah. That was, that was very nice. And you swam uh, from Eastbourne to Sea Tune once. How did that come about? Oh, it was um, the time Brian McRae had organised uh, around the harbour run with a swimmer coming from Eastbourne to Sea Tune. This was Ben Perrin was yeah, the, uh, he was the head well. boy. He was the head boy, yeah. and one of the leagues, uh, swimming leagues, was mine. Yeah, and yeah. and um, this was a relay, but it was a fundraiser for Ronald McDonald House. Ronald McDonald House. Yeah. Yes. In so 1989. Mm. Um, Philip Rush was involved as well. Oh, yes. Right. So that was after your accident, but you were mm. still able to swim. Yes, no, they didn't take my arms. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you also are a Wellington College staff member who's been in a school production. Fiddler on the Roof, yes, 1985. I mean, that's right. Yeah. Um, my stage wife was uh, Jan McLean. Yeah. <laughs> Golda. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. But with uh, Wellington East and... Uh, and the boys, Ingalisi Eti, yes, um, Jonathan Beaglehole, wow, and a whole lot of um, others there. Yes, yeah. I did my research. I looked in the mm. Wellingtonian of 1985 and saw that cast of some pretty big names oh, in Wellington College people. Some very talented, yeah, young men. Yes. Well, Martin, we're not quite ready to say goodbye to you, but it's been great to have you here on this video this week, and I'm sure a lot of our old boys will really appreciate being able to connect with you, even if it's just in this virtual way. Thank you so much oh, for your amazing, great. amazing service. As I said in the prize giving speech, it's really hard to imagine Wellington College without you. Oh, that's very kind. Awesome. Hey, have a great weekend, everyone. Ka kite.